dear students good morning to everybody this class for class 9 in last class i have explained about the remainder theorem i think you have understood so again i am repeating the remainder theorem let px px is a polynomial whose degree either greater than or equal to 1 px is a polynomial whose degree is greater than or equal to 1 if this polynomial is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a where a is any real number and if we divide px by the linear polynomial x minus a then the remainder is p in last class i have explained you with examples i think it is clear so today i will start exercise 2.3 see the page number 40 page number 40 question number 1 Find the remainder. Find x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by here some polynomials is given. So we have to find the remainder, and we will use remainder theorem to find the remainder. So exercise 2.3, question number one. So this is the polynomial for all question number Roman number one, two, three, four, five. So we suppose p x equal to this polynomial. Now number one will start. We have to find the remainder for x plus one. X plus one. So if we divide this polynomial by x plus one by long division method, we will get the remainder. But now we will find the remainder using remainder theorem. the process is very simple and easy we will find the zero of this polynomial first and is clear the zero of this polynomial is minus 1 if you have any doubt then we will suppose that x plus 1 is equal to 0 and implies so x equal to minus 1 so minus 1 is clearly is the zero of this polynomial Just you write here the zero of x plus one is minus one. Now we will find the value of this polynomial at x equal to minus one. Means whatever the zero, we will put that zero in place of this x. So here p minus one. Now put this value minus one whole cube. Plus three into minus one whole square. Three into minus one plus one. Simplify. Here minus one. Don't multiply directly. First we find the square of this term. Minus one square is one. One into three is three. Here directly can remove the bracket. Plus minus minus three. And this plus one. Now we will simplify, adding and subtracting. And here clear this this term cancel. This and this term cancel. Zero. So zero is the remainder. Remainder it may be zero, it may be positive, it may be negative, it may be fraction also. So this is the answer. So the remainder is zero. And if we divide this polynomial by x plus one by the long division method, we will get the same remainder. And you see the remainder. If we use the remainder theorem, it is very easy and short. So I think it's clear. This is the answer. Zero is the remainder now number 2 and the polynomial is same for number 2 number 3 number 4 so okay then number 2 <coughs> number 2 here the polynomial is x minus 1 by 2 x minus 1 by 2 so the zero Zero of x minus one by two is one by two. One by two is the zero. Now we'll find the value of this polynomial at x equal to one by two. So therefore, p one by two. Yeah, one by two whole cube. 
प्लस थ्री इंटू वन बाय टू स्क्वायर थ्री इंटू वन बाय टू प्लस वन नाउ सिंपलीफाई फाइंड द क्यूब वन बाय एट या वन बाय टू स्क्वायर आह होल्ड स्क्वायर वन बाय फोर वन बाय फोर इंटू थ्री मेंस थ्री बाय फोर मल्टीप्लाई दिस इस थ्री बाय टू प्लस वन नाउ सिंपलीफाई दिस टाइम फाइंडिंग द एलसीएम एंड एलसीएम ऑफ एट फोर टू इस एट so here one here divide eight by four two two into three six divide eight by two is four three into four twelve and eight into one is eight okay so it is twenty seven by eight so this is the remainder this is the remainder means this is the answer this is the answer so remainder is twenty seven by eight just put the five first five the zero Zero should be correct. Put this value in place of x. Then simplify. You will get the remainder. Easy, very easy. So here number three, number four is same. So I will solve for you number five. Number five. So this is clear, I think. So number five. Number five is five plus two x. Five plus two x. Or this term we can write as two x plus five. When you will find the zero, you will arrange the term that x should be first, then constant term. Then it will be easy to find the zero. First, the zero. If you get any problem, so on right hand side you can simplify two x plus five equal to zero. 2x equal to minus 5. That x equal to minus 5 by 2. So means minus 5 by 2 is the zero of this polynomial. So here we write the zero of 2x plus 5 is minus 5 by 2. Now we'll find the value of this polynomial at x equal to minus 5 by 2. Put this value. Minus five by two whole cube plus three into minus five by two whole square plus three into minus five by two plus one. Now simplify. If we cube minus sign will be there. It is one twenty five by eight. If we square minus sign will not be there. So twenty five by four. So twenty five into three is seventy five. By four plus minus minus fifteen by two plus one. Now we find the LCM. And LCM clearly is eight. Now here minus one two five two two into seven into one fifty. Here four four into fifteen is sixty and plus eight. Okay. Now next line simplify. So minus. Minus term you can add separately. That is minus one eight five, and the plus term you can add one fifty plus eight is one five eight divided by eight. And if we simplify, it is eight. Then it is seven. Then twenty seven means minus twenty seven by eight. Okay, so it is the demand. So this part simplification, the cubing, squaring, product, and find the LCM. So simplification should be correct. After that, addition, subtraction should be correct. Then you will get the answer. Okay. So is the remainder? Then this is the answer. I think you have understood how to find the remainder using the remainder theorem. So question number one, three, and four. You will try. You can solve. Is it clear? So number one, question number one is finished. 